Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Sissy Baker. And uh, I'd like to thank my wife, Nikki Collins, for all the love and support and putting up uh, with nonsense over the years. It's tough being married to an investigative journalist and I'm lucky to be married to someone so understanding. And thanks too to my son Xavier who keeps me humble. I find him, uh, I've offered to find him an award-winning journalist to edit his history papers, but sadly he declines. Um, by the way, I think I found um, the poem that you're trying to uh, memorize here. Here's the card. Um, He's here tonight, thank you for coming. And to Michelle, one of the smartest and most resourceful and hardworking journalists anyone could ever have as a partner. <laughs> Thanks, I just wanna quickly say thank you too to um, our editors who could not be here tonight who were fabulous collaborators. Um, my parents, who are also not here, who uh, didn't discourage me too hard from becoming a journalist. <laughs> my roommate, who is here tonight, who had to put up with my journalism antics since freshman year of college. Um, and I wanted to thank James, too, because I, I once had a professor who said to us, the mark of a truly talented journalist is one who is generous with his time and mentorship, and that's really what I found in James, both in this Tom Price reporting, and since then. Oh, th thank you very much. <laughs> so uh, I have a few other comments I wanted to say. It's become a cliche to say we're in a historical moment or that this is a moment in history that requires a different stance. And I th think that kind of thinking misses the point I believe that investigative reporting is always required, that journalists always need to be vigilant for corruption and conflicts of interest, and that's not new. It applied in the last administration, it applies in this administration, and it will apply to the next one. As Sissy Baker can remind me and her uh, legacy with her political heritage, uh, there are two parties in this town and they both deserve scrutiny. Uh, it's needed in this Congress and the next and to whomever, who, whomever holds power. It applies to those members of Congress such as uh, Dr. Tom Price, her tapped for administration jobs. And it's, it's the sort of thing that we should be doing constantly. It should expose the kind of waste, fraud, and graph that crop up in any government. I often tell people that I specialize in political investigative reporting, which gives me kind of a job security, right? <laughs> but more than that, holding the powerful accountable is crucial to the survival of our democracy, no matter who's in power. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.